Oh, damn. In this video, we're gonna go over Wingstop's new Lemon Herb Remix with Lotto. We're gonna talk about the price point, how many calories is it, and if it's worth fitting into your diet. So you ready? We out. What's going on? It's your boy, Louis Hoffa Show. You know how we do. All right, guys, I'm super excited to try the new Lemon Herb Remix with Lotto. For people that don't know, I didn't know who she was for the longest time. She's a famous rapper that just did a collab with Wingstop. And I noticed a lot of these celebrities, they started doing more collabs with uh, restaurants. From Travis Scott to BTS doing collabs with McDonald's. And I forgot who else, but I definitely see a trend with these collabs. Obviously they're working, that's why they're doing them. To be honest, I didn't know who Lotto was. You know, maybe I'm getting older, I don't listen to rap music like I used to, but I'm a huge BTS fan. The South Korean boys put us Asians on the map, so shout out to them. And one of the members, uh, Jim Cook, did a collab with Lotto. That's how I found out about her. Super excited. Uh, let's get this started. All right. So this is what we have right here. I don't know what the difference is between the Zesty Herb Remix and just a regular lemon pepper. But before we start, this is a fitness channel, so we have to go over my four rules. The first rule is I follow the 80-20 rule. 80% of my calories come from whole foods, which means lean meats, fruits, and veggies. And 20% of my calories comes from foods just like this. My second rule is we don't skip our training, we don't skip our workouts, we don't skip our cardio. I personally like to go in the morning. I like to get out of the way, but hey, do what's best for you and fits your schedule. And the third rule is we eat our maintenance calories or below. So if you eat your maintenance calories, you don't gain weight, you don't lose weight. If you eat above your maintenance calories, you gain weight. If you eat below it, you lose weight. But hey, what if you don't know your maintenance calories? Well, lucky for you, I have a free calorie calculator. Just go to bringthestreads.com slash tools. I'll leave a link below. Type in your info and you'll be good to go. And the fourth and final rule is we don't drink calories on this channel, unless it's vodka. So I got the boneless, not the ones with the bones in it. I don't know why, I just felt like, it was like a dollar cheaper. I don't know if the calories make that much of a difference. But damn, smells good. That's what it looks like. Oh, damn. Bomb.com. So I got the six piece, which they said was perfect for one person. But yeah, some of them look bigger than others. So we'll see if it keeps me satisfied. And I also got a side of regular fries. Before we start, let's go over the calories. Because this is a new and limited time item, I couldn't find the calories online. So you might be asking me, what do you do in this situation? Well, when you're unsure like I am, I kind of look for something similar. For instance, this is the lemon remix. I'll just look at the lemon pepper calories. Yes, it might be a little different, but at least it's similar and in the same ballpark. I think you should be okay. And if you're wondering about the lemon pepper macros, I'll put it right here. And I also got a side of fries. Here's the thing, guys. If I was still dieting hardcore and I want to be really strict on my calories, I would have cut this out and replaced it with carrots and celery instead. And you might be wondering, why didn't I just do that now? Well, the thing is, when I switched it out online, it was the same price point. I'm not gonna pay the same price if I could get fries instead of carrots and celery. You know what I'm saying? So these fries though, however, they are like 420, 30 calories, I forgot, but it's up there. I'll leave the macros for those right here. And uh, yeah, I'm probably just gonna eat half of this just to be on the safe side. Oh yeah, and does come with ranch dipping sauce for these nuggets, not nuggets, wings. However, like I mentioned before, sauce calories do add up, so I decided not to do that. And here's something I wanna tell you guys before we start. If you watched my previous videos, you're familiar with my strategy. I always go with a lower calorie sauce like honey mustard. However, when I went on their website, their honey mustard was like 360 calories. That's why I always preach to you guys before you guys go out to always check the nutrition facts. Yes, one can assume honey mustard is low in calories, but if I didn't check the nutrition facts, I probably would have got that and started drenching all over. Extra 360 calories. I step on the scale the next day like, oh, how come I didn't lose weight? And that's why. Think about it, guys. So enough talking, let's try this out. So here we go, let's check this out. I'll be honest, I don't know what the difference is, but uh, looks good, smells good. But check this out, so th look at this size, and then look at this size. This is one, you see what I'm saying? How come these both count as one, one piece when one is clearly two times bigger than the other one? That ain't right, we can stop, that ain't right. All right, enough talking, let's do this. Mmm. Oh, that's good. You can definitely taste the lemon. Mmm. 
Yeah, that is bomb. I will be honest with you guys, I don't eat at Wingstop a lot. Just because their wings, if you think about it, one of these is 110 calories, according to their website. I think it was like seven or eight grams of fat per one, and only like three or four grams of protein. So if you do the math, the math don't math, you know what I'm saying? There's better options out there. However, because we are reviewing, it is what it is. Mm. Don't get me wrong though, guys. It was really good. Be careful with the sauces. They do add up. And because the honey mustard was 360 calories or something crazy like that, I have no idea why. If you're new to my channel, I have something in my fridge called no sugar added ketchup. Only one serving is only 10 calories. Probably going to have two or three servings. This is an easy hack to replace your ranch, your honey mustard at Wingstop. But you can also go to the store and get fat-free ranch if you want to as well and keep that in your fridge. It's good for your pizzas and other things like that. So I got you guys. Here are the fries. So one thing I do remember about Wingstop fries is they're very soggy. So I make sure to get extra or no, well done wings and well done fries. But as you can tell, they're not really well done, but that's all right. Dip it in your no sugar ketchup and you'll be good to go. Life hack, baby. Like I said, they're really soggy. And it's unfortunate because I think these would be really good well done. If you guys live in the West Coast like me, I like to go to In-N-Out. And at in and out if you order well-done fries, they come out extra crispy. So Wingstop, here's a tip. If you have a well-done option, make sure it's well done. Let's get some more of these uh, Herb Remix bites. Pretty good. I'm not gonna lie though, guys, it's pretty good. Oh yeah, and this whole combo thing came out to be like $15 and some change. That's a little expensive in my opinion. This to me is actually 10 to $12 max with tip and tax. But hey guys, I get it. Inflation. It's also unfortunate that like, if I replace the fries with celery and carrots, it didn't lower the price. And if you're new to my channel, I always say skip the drink and just buy yourself a 12 pack and keep it in the fridge. Because if you think about it, every time you go out to eat and you order a drink, that's an extra two, three dollars. However, in this case, I try to get this combo meal without the drink and it was the same price. So I said, all right, fine. Just include it. I mean, you don't pay for it anyways, right? I'm a huge fan of Coke Zero, but I wanted to switch it up and they did have no sugar root beer, Barks root beer. So yeah, so I'm gonna have that. Yeah, I think no sugar is also zero calories. So keep that in mind. Ah, you can't go wrong with no sugar root beer and Wingstop. Am I right? Like I said before, these whole celebrities doing collabs with restaurants are very popular. I didn't know who Lotto was, but apparently they picked her for a reason, right? Big shout out to her. I'm pretty sure a lot of people like myself bought it just because of that. So I know she got the bag and she's pretty hot. Not gonna lie. Hmm. So what about you guys? This is only a limited time. Do you guys go to Wingstop? If so, what's your favorite flavors? I personally like the uh, mango habanero. I know that's a little spicy, but it's really good. And the uh, garlic parmesan, I think that's what it's called. Again, I don't go often just because the uh, the macros aren't the best. But when I do, those are my top two. But yeah, man, I wish these fries were a little bit more crispy. I I'm telling you guys, if this was more crispy, this would be bomb. I think if we throw this in the air fryer, these fries, I think it'd be good to go. But these wings, they're pretty crispy. So I don't know what happened. I'm pretty sure the workers back there are just kind of like, oh, whatever. Why? Mm -mm. So far, like I said, I like this a lot. It tastes good. However, if you are dieting, counting your calories, I probably would try to steer away from this and get their chicken sandwich instead. Because if you think about it, it's just a chicken patty and like a bun and some lettuce and tomatoes or whatever they have. Each one of these is 110 calories. This alone is already 600 and I don't know, you do the math. Plus the fries. Again, if you're dieting, switch it out or just get the burger by itself. You know how it is. So if you're new to the channel, I do a random topic of the day. It helps you guys get to know me better. And if you leave a comment below, it helps me get to know you better as well. Do movies have the same power as books to change the world? I'm not sure to change the world, but I know books have more detail in it. A lot of times books turn into movies and you always see that comment everywhere you go is, but read the book because it's a lot better than the movie. Because I think from 90 minutes to two hours, there's only so much you can put into the movie, right? Whereas books, you can add more depth, more detail, but to change the world, the heck kind of question is that? I guess with books, it helps open up your imagination more. Whereas TV, you're kind of just watching it visually. You know what I mean? There's not a lot of thinking. So I think that's what they mean by that. But yeah, other than that, kind of a weird question. Anyways, let's eat some more. Mm, by the way, what books do you guys um, enjoy? 
that turned into a movie. I'm trying to think if I had one. But if I can be honest with you guys, I don't really read a lot of fictional books. A lot of books I do read are more about self-development. And what I mean by read is listen to audiobooks. Just because when I'm at the gym, I like to listen to things, you know, try to kill two birds with one stone. So it's been a minute since I actually read a fictional book. Hmm. So I remember, obviously it's not recently, but when I was in sixth grade, I read this book called The Outsiders by S.E. Hinton. And it's crazy because it did turn into a movie. And if you look at the cast, these are all the stars that were in it before they were stars. So I'm talking about Ralph Macchio, The Karate Kid, Patrick Swayze, rest in peace, Tom Cruise. I think Rob Lowe was in it. Like, dude, crazy cast. So yeah, I would say that. And now that I think about it, again, the book had more detail than the movie. So even though it was a great cast, the book was 10 times better. I think any book, if you read it, if you have the time to read, it's always gonna be better than the movie. All right, guys, I'm gonna finish this up. Maybe pop this rest in the air fryer. I think it'll be 10 times better. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, if you don't know what maintenance calories, go to bringthestreads.com slash tools. And don't forget to bring the shreds and I will talk to you soon. Peace.